Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a Michigan courtroom with the known sobtard Eric Martin as he attempts to get one over on, well, a no-nonsense judge, but it completely falls apart in his face. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. State of Michigan versus Eric Martin, case number 23 at 00425. Rachel McDuffie for the people. Assistant Public Defender Sandra White on behalf of Eric Martin. <clears throat> Mr. Martin, please unmute. State your name for the record. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Please turn on your screen also. What's uh, going on? Hold on, I'm, I'm trying to do that here. I'm not seeing it. Uh... Okay, there we go. There you go, sir. This is uh, Eric, capital E, lowercase R-I-C, capital M, lowercase A-R-T-I-N, living man, um, hereby threatened arrest, um, and appearing by special appearance, and a general jurisdiction granting. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, the all caps name and everything like that. Dude, just because a name appears in a document as all caps doesn't mean that it is a corporation. I don't know where you guys get this bullshit from, but it, it it's kind of a stupid argument to begin with. Case in point, Kitzmiller versus Dover. Right here, I was reading this earlier today. You see how uh, Kitz Miller's uh, name is in all caps? Does that mean that she's a corporation? Or is it just a formatting thing? Well, let's take a look at page four of the document when her name appears again. Oh, looky what we got here. It's not in all caps. The first letter of the name is capitalized only. Huh, could that be further proof that this is just a formatting thing and not a sign of a corporation? Kind of makes you wonder that, doesn't it now? It actually gives the appearance that the headings of documents uh are usually capitalized or something like that huh i wonder thank you sir um this matter is scheduled for a pre-trial today i received a letter from mr martin um that was forwarded to the prosecutor's office indicating that he had not that he was not able to open the um discovery that was pro provided to him and requesting that he get another copy so that he could try to get it to work. He indicated that he had tried to go to the library in order to get it to work with no success also. And since that time, Ms. Uh, McDuffie, were you able to provide him with another copy? No, Your Honor, we have not provided another copy. Um, so the issue I think is that Mr. Martin, um, we first of all, let me just confirm that when discovery was demanded and ordered at the October 26th final settlement conference, um, obviously he received it. He picked that up on November 7th. That contained a flash drive with the media, which is MSP watch guard video, um, a copy of the police report and a copy of the citation itself. So Mr. Martin has received everything that we would provide to any other attorney, except that it's not a link because he didn't give us an email and he wanted it mailed to him. But what often happens is that to be able to view that, you need to possibly install a player um, on your local computer so that you can you know, play that video. And if Mr. Martin is going to the library, um, it's most likely a system that's not gonna allow him those types of permissions to do that. So I would encourage that we don't really have, it's not an issue I don't believe with what he was sent having some sort of error on it, but I think that he should connect with his standby counsel because the PD's office would likely be able to assist him in viewing that. Okay, I got you. I know, I understand what the problem here is. So it's an easy thing to fix. Uh, what you need to do is go get yourself a lawyer who knows how to open a video file, seeing as how you have no experience doing that. And uh, therefore, maybe, just maybe... 
that will help you out. I don't know, though, dude, because you're a complete moron to begin with uh, having followed this sovereign citizen garbage to the letter. So, yeah, you need all the help you can get, but you're not going to use it. But whatever. Thank you, Mr. Martin. So what there's what she's saying is you have to install a particular application called a player to be able to play that. It's not going to just play on its own. You have to have the downloaded app or whatever it is that you need to play it from that, download it to your actual uh, computer. When I was a defense attorney, the way uh, we had to do it is to download that player as well. That's the way the process works, sir. So I don't know. I don't understand how to do that. Uh, um, so, and I object to her saying it's not nothing they sent. You know, it shouldn't make it. Sh it shouldn't be this complicated. It should just be able to re review it. You know, I am not exactly going to say that it's your age that is the problem here, uh, because I had a uh, friend of mine who was seventy years old who was able to figure out how to download a. Uh, a player like that. I mean, they even they even figured out how to work it within a couple of hours. Uh, there's no excuse for you not to be able to do that, dude. Unless your brain has turned into absolute mush due to all the uh, soft-tard indoctrination that you've received. Because who knows? They may have told you that kind of stuff is of the devil. Um, well, that's how it works for everybody. You and every other attorney, sir. So what she's suggesting that you do is to get with Miss White, who is your standby counsel, and have her assist you with downloading that so you can review it, sir. Well, as I objected to before, I don't accept no attorneys because then that would give uh, unlawful, fraudulent presumptions, and I'm a defendant, and along with a lot of other presumptions, which I'm going to be sending. Um, I have a David to rebut 12 uh, of the general fraudulent presumptions that's done. In cases, uh, haven't did it yet, but uh, yeah, that's the problem with that. Um, well, that is your choice, but that is the mechanism for you to review it. You can utilize what is available to you or you cannot, but those are your choices. I'm going to give you one more chance to figure out how to get that done. If it's not done at the next pretrial, then we'll just keep moving forward. Okay. Well, no, I object it. Well, you know. I need to be able fine. to you can object to whatever you want to object to, sir. But that is what we're doing today. Pre-trial in this particular matter is going to be adjourned to February 1st, 2024 at 9 o'clock a.m. We will see you then. Well, hold on, let me write this down. But February 1st? Correct. At what time? At nine o'clock a.m. Nine o'clock a.m. Okay, now this lady you're talking about, what is her name again? I don't have her number or nothing. Sandra. I'm sorry. There you go. Sandra White. It's on the screen there. Can you see it? Yeah, I see the name. But I don't see no number or nothing. And, uh... Okay, you, will you answer our calls? I'm going to give you the phone number. You ready? Yeah. I'm going to give you my office number 734. Yeah. Five, five four five. Yeah. Three three four eight six. Three four eight six. All right. <clears throat> okay. I just want to uh Washington object again to her uh, representing me because like I said uh I'm always uh of the position to present myself. Well, dude, at this point, I'd say you're representing yourself pretty poorly. Uh right now because if you can't even be bothered to learn how to operate a media player on your computer then well you're about to find out well this is not going to be an easy road for you to go down you are going to get trounced whenever this goes to trial so have fun with that man so i'm not going to give up my right to do that but uh so, but I will contact her if if, if you guys are gonna force me, so to say. It's only gonna be it's by force, and I give me no other option to uh, uh, review the video myself. Due to them not sending something that can be reviewed, but uh, 
That's all I got to say on that. Like I said, it'll, it'll be by force. It's not, uh, you know, they're not giving me no other option. So. Oh, come on now, dude. This hasn't been done by force. In fact, if you actually believed that, uh, you that you were not in their jurisdiction or something like that, then you would not be here trying to fight the whole thing. So my suggestion is, if you really want to help out your case, I would uh, learn how to use that media player quick, fast, and in a hurry, because you got two months to prepare yourself. So take a couple hours and actually sit down to learn how to use that media player, and you'll be fine on that front, but the question is, will you be fine on the actual legal front, because you are clearly a moron when it comes to that as well. Well, at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?